Let's open some fan mail coming up after this. Okay, I really don't like accepting gifts. I don't like getting fan mail. I don't like really getting stuff. And I usually don't make videos of um, the parcels that come. I do for Brian and Veronica. I know that they like it. But I have too many toys. I'm really selective about what I want. But, I mean, and it's, oh, the, the price, the cost to Canada. This, this part, I don't, there's something very wrong here. Um, this cost $73.30 U.S. to send. That, I mean, it's, it's kind of heavy, but I don't, I don't know if this was supposed to be same day or next day, because that, that is... You can get a parcel of this size sent for $20, so I don't know, or for $15, I believe. I just actually ordered something from eBay that cost $15 from the U.S. So I don't know what's going on here, but I did not get this parcel in a timely matter. Uh, also, like I do have this um, a post office box kind of thing. It's basically because um, packages coming to my house isn't very reliable. So I, I keep them at the post office. My address just changed, but I mean, I don't even want to say that it's in the about section on, um, on my YouTube. But don't send me anything. Like this is a great example. Okay, so there's a card and there's a parcel, and this is from Evelyn, Evelyn, who is you know the same name as one of my favorite Masters of the Universe characters. And then we've got one from Val, and I don't know what's in this little card. Um, they don't accept letters, but I guess my the ladies are really nice at the post. Obviously, they said that they um if you ever get a letter again we're going to send it back but then i've gotten other letters and they continue to give them to me i don't know what's going to happen at the new post office because my post office is shutting down but the, it, I, I don't even know if this is going to be edited out i don't know what this is going to say i might have to edit out parts i hope i didn't show any addresses i really like this card uh, yeah, it reminds me of Griffin Sabine with the, maybe it is. It, it, it might be. Uh, what is this? It says, from the Freak to Chic Scaregrounds doll camera. What the what? Oh, it was, <laughs> oh my goodness. It was, wait, no, what? Wait, I don't think this is the person I sold it to. But for some reason, I don't have this film. I sold, I sold it, but I took out, I took out the camera. This is so nice. This is so cool. I think this is amazing. I have to go find my camera right now. Hold on. My most recent faves or stuff that I still have to sort, I put in here of like a little accessories that I like to put in my diorama. But here is the camera. And oh my goodness, I had no idea. That is so cool. I don't know how to... Do you just... <laughs> you just stick it in I guess it fits in somewhere so I don't know if Val is being nice and that she knows that I took it out or he I, Val could be anybody but I I don't know how it fits in but it's really cool and I can't see a place. Maybe you're just supposed to jam it inside, but it doesn't really matter because 
because even if you just st stick it inside loosely, just having this cool little film canister sitting around as an accessory brings me so much joy. Yeah, I don't know if it actually goes anywhere. Um, some some people like I've had this in pictures on Instagram, and people say, "What is that?" I think that it might be a generation thing that maybe some of you kids are so young that you've never even seen a camera before. Well, this is it, it is an olden days telescopic kind of paper lens camera but it, it's so cool and it's one of my favorite i mean it, if not my favorite monster high i guess it probably is my favorite monster high accessory to date i don't see a place for it to like snap in like i thought it was going to, no i guess it can't i thought it was going to have two little notches on both sides so you could snap it into place but i guess it's just yeah i don't see any place to actually click it into place or anything and i thought they might do that I guess you just you just stuff it inside. Val, if you know, leave a comment down below. Thank you. That's it. Like there's no big net from the freak to chic scaregrounds doll camera best. That's how I always sign everything best. So I I hope it's not an item that I sold to someone and then they sent back a piece from inside. But this is so cool. Okay, I mean, how excited can I get over one tiny little film canister? Imagine how I'm going to feel about this. I uh, the price on this that's 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 absolutely horrific. But let's go. This tape is really nice. I think this is like a post office box and post office tape. I noticed that those are all really, this is something that Evelyn has gone out of her way to do. <laughs> so far I didn't have to hide anything. I, sh I guess I shouldn't draw attention to me having to hide anything. I don't know. I have received letters from Evelyn before and they make me feel like I'm in Teen Beat. <laughs> Okay, so there is a letter. I'm not going to read it. I mean, I'm probably going to be... There's so much stuff in here that... It's so packed full. From Evelyn, 3-9. This is how long it took me to get this package. 2023. 3-9. January, February, March. The 9th. So it's like... It's like a whole... I don't know. Not quite... Two-thirds two, two of a month away. So I'm, I'm I'm afraid to read the letter, so I'm not gonna re I'm not gonna read the letter, and I probably should read it before I open this parcel, but maybe not. Oh, here what I'll do is I'll look at the parcel and then I'll read the letter, and at the end of the video, you know I always have a little bit of extra at the end of the video. Maybe it'll answer questions. So I'll, at at the very end of the video, I'll I'll address that. Okay. So, great packing skills to use a bag. America's Heart Association can't uh, go red for women. Go red meat for... I don't think that's what they mean. Oh, I can use that for packing and stuff. That's nice. All right, so we've got... We've got... Whoa. We've got so many uh, Barbie fashions in here. Oh my goodness, there's something in here that I, I don't have. I'm, whoa, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Look at this. So it appears that she's given me, she's put these bags to use and given me all kinds of fashions. There's an instruction here for some color reveals. Um, these pants. I actually love these pants. Some people, I hope she's not giving me things that she likes. I don't know why. Um, this, this top, um, I like this little two-piece set. This is a very popular set too. And um, these things, I love these things. I actually think, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, it's a good thing I'm opening this. Wait a minute, no, this is a different one. I really wanted the watermelon set just for this watermelon top. But there's also this whole tie-dye series that this stuff belongs to. Now I think that this is not from 
see another friend of mine, which I didn't open up the parcel, has sent me from Europe all of the tie-dye from the deluxe sets, but I think this is from the basic tubes, which cost around $30 here in Canada, so I don't buy them, but I think that this is one of the, I love color reveal skirts and most people don't like me because I talk so highly about color reveal skirts, but this is really nice. And look how the surged edge, I go on and on about overlock stitching and how I love that as a finish, but I'm super happy to have this, even though this is something that Barbie does that's not cool, is that they have this, when they have a back, um, flowing thing like you can see like the seam and the white material on the back side which is something you shouldn't do when you have a, a train kind of thing happening but this this and this I love these pieces these color reveal color reveal has some of the best clothes uh, this I don't know where this is from but I love it it kind of reminded karma's world where, where is this from? I, I don't know. Um, it is, I love all the fur coats. I don't understand how I don't know what this is. Identify someone. Maybe, I'll, maybe it'll be identified in the letter. This is also a piece that I don't recognize, but I like it and it's fun. And oh yeah, here's a piece I love. This is definitely from a color reveal. I don't know if this is from, again, the deluxe packs, but I will be opening up those soon, but it's definitely a color reveal skirt, and I love it. And then this is a dress that I don't have this dress, and I really like this dress. It is, looks like a Brooklyn Barbie dress. I think it is from a set. Why are you giving me all your clothes, Evelyn? I don't understand that. Uh, this. Okay, I must have this unopened. Um, Choco Cat. I love this black and white plaid skirt. I definitely have a Hello Kitty Choco Cat set, but I might not have this one. And this looks like it's kind of, you know, the skirts are kind of for the curvier girls, but I think that this one is small enough that it's going to look good on, I love black and white. There, though, that's, that's a standard. Now this, I think I just bought from the dollar store. Um, we got these fashions, but this is a really nice dress and anything dinosaur I like and I can do some twinning and winning with this. Look at that. Look at the car, cars, trucks, and dinos. Oh my. There's a lot here. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. This is, look, this is Elf Mates. So not Barbie. That's why I don't recognize this. This is from one of those Elf on the Shelf outfits and how cute is that to give at Christmas time to my little friends adorable it's going on and on we're still not we haven't even dented I haven't even looked in here I like this piece I don't know where this is from it's I'm pretty sure I don't, I don't think it's Barbie but I don't know what it is but it's a really nice little gingham top cute I like that this one oh this is this is also see this this is this saves me a lot okay because usually like when i bought this is from one of the budget dolls but i always want to get i just want the budget dolls for the clothes so uh, this is awesome that i get this dress i love the budget doll dresses i love the color reveal clothes i think it's because they're more simple they don't go out of their way to put ruffles and stuff and make them really attractive or spend too much money on constructing them and i like a simple dress and then all of the d all of the attention goes to the pattern on the material and I usually you know I'm not a big fan I've talked about not being a big fan of hearts and butterflies and stuff like that but sometimes the right butterfly if it's in the right heart uh, and this is like this rudimentary animal skin heart I'm liking it and Barbie logo is a classic so you can even incorporate that in there this I might have this one. This one I think might be in a two pack, but also maybe not. Maybe it might be just one of the most recent fashion packs. Did you, hopefully you gave me all of the things that you didn't like, which I am going to do soon. 
I hope that these things don't end up in that pile, and I don't think they are. These are really nice. It was really hard. I actually was looking at my whole, my, I have bins like this, full of different Barbie clothes, and most of them was like, oh no, I couldn't part with that. Oh, I'm, I might need that. I'm, I might need that one day. And I think this is a newer piece that I actually don't have. Um, I like this a lot. I like all of the mixed patterns, and it's fun and cute, and it's constructed really well. And I, for the first time, these bows are put on very well, even though I see that I could remove those, and that is something that I might do. Just like I said, take off a little bit of flourish. I can see that they're just stitched on to the strap, so... I might simplify this dress and take off those bows, but I, I like this dress. Even though I do prefer, see, I would prefer if they didn't do the ruffle on it. This is cute. And then this, I don't know, this, I just opened up all of these Puma sets, but maybe this is from one that I don't have because I don't remember. I don't remember this one, but maybe I'm mistaken. I did just open up. I know that they did, I don't know. I don't know. See, that's also the problem of having too many toys. Uh, anyway, it's a matching suit, which is my favorite kind of outfit in the world because you have two pieces that can go together, plus you can split them up and wear them separately. And uniforming is something that I love, where you're head to toe, same colors, same outfits. Another cute color reveal. So I think... Now, these go together. I think this is from the watermelon set then. And um, it, I don't know. Can it be? I have to... I, I don't remember, but they can, maybe it's from two different sets. It's possibly... But I don't have the watermelon set, and that would be great because this would be the pieces that I wanted the most from the watermelon set. Okay, there's more furs in here. I don't know where these furs are from, but... That's, this looks smaller, but look, it's a little shrug. I, don't, I have this crazy, I love little fur coats. I don't know, I don't know where these are from, but I love them and definitely, oh, there's another one. We'll use them. Is this, it can't, I don't know. These are too cool. These are too cool to be Barbie. Look at this one. Where are these from? This one, like, I mean, this one's a fur, but it's also like a muted tone. This, this is, this is, this is classy. Like these are fun, but this is, this is something that can be incorporated into my all natural thing that I like. Oh, look, maybe this is a hint to where some of these things came from. Okay. So it seems that the color of the oh, it looks like these are just the skirt ones. So there's another skirt in here, by the way. So I'm, these are this, can I say that this is what I'm most excited about? The two color reveal skirts? Yes, because when I want these, it costs me $30, just, or $35 even sometimes, depending on what store you get them at, just to get these skirts. And I've done it. I think maybe sometimes there's earrings too. And I, I like getting the earrings too. But I especially like the A-line skirts, too. So these are two things that I wanted so badly. Look how they finish them differently. Like this one doesn't have the overlock stitching, but still has an elastic waist. And then this one does. But the, that's the, the funny thing about me is I do, I prefer this one because just to the simplicity of it. That's so cool. And let's see if we can identify. Um, oh, yeah, so... I think there's three of these. I love this. So tube skirt. And then we have this one that appears to. Yeah. And then we have, oh my goodness, that's three. Three of the skirts. That is so cool. And uh, sometimes I, I do get to thrift them. So hopefully I'll find the other two at a thrift store one day. Okay, there's more of this fur stuff. What? What is this? What are these fur things from? Is there some kind of doll line out there? Some other cave, cave club kind of doll line that I don't know about? Uh, awesome, solid. Evelyn, you're sending me such great pieces. I hope you didn't deplete your whole collection just to 
give them to me. Look at this. A simple, like, turquoise, stonewashed skirt. Like, I, that must be from, I don't know. I don't, yeah. Well, I forget what the name of the brand is. And then, ooh. And then this science dress, which I don't think I have this set, but this is a super vintage pattern. I love this. Look, it's got, it's got a pattern on the other side. I kind of like that it's not like divided into a top that it's a dress. Anyway, let's not get to what is this? Um, music high toy. What are these things from? This, what a nice little hat. Let's see, oh, got a can right here. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if these are like toys that you can't get in Canada or Maybe you guys know, maybe they're like little. Look at how, that's better than any hat that I have. No, I'm not big into labels though, so can I, oh, can I flip it around and show the back of it? That is a nice hat. Tell me if you know where this hat is from. We've got back stitching, hopefully on this. Yeah, it's not, it's stretchable. Look at a that. See, it's just like the hat I wear. So good. Oh my god. Okay. Here we go. There is. Oh, this is um, definitely a favorite. Did I buy this one? I just opened a color variation of it. Uh, this is one of my favorite cars, Evelyn. You did really good. Translucent. She knows. Uh, silver. It's possible that I have this one but I love it. I might have not gotten it. I might have like waited. I don't know. Uh, you'd think I would remember. Anyway, I did just open up a variation of this one in a different color because I liked it so much. So awesome. And then Crazy Eights cars, two in one game. She knows that I collect cards. Are they going to be the small cards? Are they big cards? They are giant cards. <laughs> and it's cute and there's cute little animals on them and I do collect cards because I um, like to collect them um, instead of collecting toys because I can put them in a binder and flip through and look at cute things so she did she gave me all of her best stuff because she knows that I liked it okay this is a really cool car 50s style rod squad I don't have this one and it says broken promises on it it's cool. It's a mod rod from Rod Squad from 2021. So if it's a newer one, I don't know why I don't recognize it. Uh, love it. It's got a little demon on it. Um, oh, itchy nose. Uh, oh. Oh. The, I don't have this one, and I don't know how I don't have this one. And it's it says 2027. And it is a GP Honda truck, and I love it. It's rudimentary. I don't have this one, and I don't know why I don't have this one. Maybe it hasn't come out in Canada yet. It would have been from last year. It's awesome. I have this one in duplicate. She bought me two of these. She thought I would really like this one, which I kind of really do. I love yellow with black and white, too. All right, and then... And then this is one that I wanted to get and I never picked up. So uh, this is a more recent one and I like it. And I think that it comes out in other colors too. So thank you. I Ones that say Hot Wheels sprawled across them. They are, I think that this one comes, I think they're making this deco in, in many. So I think there's all these blue cars with orange translucent. Now I have to get them all. Thanks a lot. Okay. This guy. Well, I'm glad that this isn't time for Easter. There are all of these little... What are these? They say Hot Wheels on them. Thank you for not sending me the chocolate if this is from Kinder Surprise. These are flip keepers. One said Hot Wheels. This one doesn't... Oh no, this one does say Hot Wheels. So these are little mini Hot Wheels. So perfect for my diorama. 
how do I not know about these? Thank you for eating the chocolate and not sending it to me, because I don't want to eat chocolate anymore. And then, they're all different. Look at this. So good for my little mini-me's to have. Did I put it back? Oh, I put it back. Should I keep them out? I don't know. I usually don't open up the mini things, and there's so much stuff in here. This is really cute, too. Um, I think I think Evelyn's been eating a lot of Kinder Eggs. Or giving them to her kids and stealing the toys for me. <laughs> Thanks. This is cute. I can see that being put on the shelf. I got two of those. I got... Wait, do I have a complete set of these? That's the yellow one that I opened. Uh, I've got an orange one. Oh my goodness, is there going to be a complete set here? I've got this black one that is just like the Rod Squad that we looked at. So good. We've got another one of these Rod Squads in turquoise. How many are there to collect? Oh yeah, there's way too many to collect here. I want the van. Let's hope we get the van. Um, another disclaimer, please don't send me any toys, guys. This is this is too generous. And I have way too many toys. Okay, did I open them? Well, I think I opened them all. So uh, this, look at these. These are so perfect for minis. What's my favorite one? Red's my favorite color. I know this car. I just got one of those. I just got one of these. Uh, this orange one, I oh, I, I really like the orange. It's standing out. The yellow one, I think this yellow one's my favorite. These are so cute, so cool. Probably some of the best. Is this Kinder? It might not even be Kinder. It might be from some other series. I don't think it says Kinder on it. Um, a bone shaker, that is what those are called. Hot Wheels. Um, maybe they were special Hot Wheels. Um, I think I did see stuff like that. Finderskeeperscandy.com. Anyway, thank you. It's so good. All right. See, this is this is the bad part. Now, she sent me all of her translucent shoes. Oh, and these hanger. I've just actually taken all of my hangers, and I actually cut off these things. Oh my goodness, I see something in here. Why did she buy me two of them? I wanted this one, and I didn't buy it for myself yet. And of course I love it because it is a, a GP car. And I don't know why I, I stopped myself. It was, oh, because you know what? I found it at an expensive store, and I didn't buy it. And then I... Uh, Anyway, there's two, and I didn't buy it because I was going to wait for it to find it at Walmart, but then Walmart skipped all of the earlier waves and went right to a later waves, and then I didn't see it, and then I couldn't see find it anymore, even at the more expensive store, and I love it. It's white, and it's got those 70s colored stripes on it. It has exposed engine. What an awesome GP GP car. Why did you send me two? Why did you send me two? Oh my god, there's so many more Hot Wheels. Okay, back to the translucent shoes. I love translucent plastic toys. Evelyn knows this. So, look, she sent me all of her translucent. Look at these. What the? Whose shoes are those? I don't know anything about that. Um, those are so cool. These ones are where are these shoes from? What? The, I, 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 don't rec, I don't recognize any of these. What is this dripping? It's like a Monster High shoe, but in Barbie size. What? what? This, one of my favorite 80s shoes that comes with color reveals and stuff. I think some of these must have come. Another drippy Monster High in blue. putting these bags to use. Love that. Because it's hard to. Another strappy number that's super 80s. Love it. Um, that one. This crazy... I don't know what that's from. It's like a Laguna. Maybe they're like Monster High ripoffs or something. What? What? The what? 
so these, I love these shoes, but where did they come from? And in so many different colors, these green ones, super 80s. Yeah, there's something going on here. I don't know. Um, those sneakers are awesome. These strappy ones are, these are all really, really great shoes. I guess the translucent is helping a lot. Um, chunky 70s platform, quirky things little sandals and then my favorite combat boots in sparkle and well they're both sparkle oh this video's taken so long my screen went off uh combat boots comes in so handy yet they're translucent uh the other pairs to the I don't, know. I don't, Evelyn, this is, it's too much, way too much going on here. Uh, I cannot believe how many Hot Wheels are in here. Um, Easter, thank God we're in, just in time for Easter. I didn't get this too late. So what a great Easter opening. Adorable. It's fluffy. It's cute. We have a Snoopy Easter. Like, itty bitty hey do you guys still have hallmarks all of our hallmarks have shut down in canada is there still hallmark hallmarks in the u.s easter snoopy itty bitty adorable and then <sighs> no there's a whole bag of more accessories so a really cute purse those are definitely my colors. I don't know who Lucky is, but she's lucky to have people make purses like that for her. We've got this brush. It seems to be like a color reveal of some sort. It says Barbie on it. I don't remember them having this water feature uh, end on this. Maybe this is a vintage one, because I don't remember any of the color reveal having that on here. Now we have a... Um, well, let's just talk about this. We have a rosary, which uh, something you might know about, you might not know about me, is I used to collect and wear rosaries all the time. I don't think you're, I think that might be sacrilegious. I don't know if Evelyn is trying to save me, but I actually love rosaries. And um, these are wooden beads, and I could make jewelry for my dolls, but maybe I shouldn't do that. So somebody let me know in the comments below if I should or shouldn't do that or I could just wear it <laughs> wait I don't think you're supposed to do that either uh, I have a violin which is a very very nice wood grain violin so love it not pink and it's got a really nice bow I don't know if this is a Barbie violin or not but I think it is awesome it's better than Barbie if it's not Barbie. And then Barbie Ghetto Blaster. Love that. Really cute. We've got these giant. Wait. Who are these going to fit? Who are these for? Good thing I have a Ken stand here. They look like that. They're like a, a different scale, but they might just be. Who are these for? They kind of fit. So are they supposed to be this oversized or are they for some other? Those are kind of cool, I have to say. I, I do like an oversized sunglass, but you can tell by the, how far they go back on the ears that they're not supposed to be for one six scale. What else do we got in here? Translucent yellow visor. I don't think I have this in yellow. Love that. We have this cord. I don't know what that's about, but I can use that for my crafts and arts and making stuff. We've got another pair of these oversized sunglasses. You guys got to let me know where they're from. We've got another pair of these oversized sunglasses. And did I make a mistake and not try them on? Is that what I should do? It's just, I don't have to hold my arm out as far these on. Yeah, they're, these are totally my style, but should I make them bigger so they so I look like how Ken looks when he has them on? Cool. And then, oh, there's more of them. Whose sunglasses are these? 
these are crazy. Who's going to be able to wear these? I mean, besides Ken. No, these ones, he, he can't even, he can't even put them on his tiny head. Oh, wait, I have bigger dolls. They're probably going to look great on the bigger, like, ever after high heads. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to try that later. She sent me more hangers. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to snip these things off. I, I have a whole, oh, let me show you. I actually have them right here. Coincidentally, I just snipped off of of the hinge part and I snipped off of the oh, the back and we know we have a lot of Barbie clothes so I'm gonna have to make a big pink Barbie closet. Wow, this is long. I've got more I've got more jewelry that I could make doll jewelry with or I could wear this myself. This is kinda this is kind of my style, gold and white and naturally looking. All right, hangers. Where were we? Um, another pair of giant sunglasses. These got to be from some kind of MGA doll. We got probably the nicest water bottle I've ever seen in doll land. It's like my size because it's bigger than the normal bottles you see. We've got scrunchies that attach. I think this is Barbie. I think this is official Barbie scrunchie. Uh, live, love it. Um, translucent purse that I've never seen before in pearl white. Uh, new favorite purse. So good. And then this one I know and love that. It's got a hanger attached. Love that purse. And oh, I don't think I have this one in this color. And I love that. Translucent white pearl. Um, whoa, another scrunchie. I think this is from the same Barbie set, and I really like those. More hangers, more jewelry. I don't think this is a Barbie necklace, but it's gold, and I like it. And then we have these jazz sunglasses. This is definitely a Barbie glasses. We have another water bottle. That's only a fraction of the size of this one, but I like it. It's, it's big. It looks big. Then we have some kind of translucent cupcake dessert. And then we have... It drops on the floor. Oh, it was the purse. It dropped on the floor. This gold purse. We got this seashell purse, which I like a lot. It's more of a gummy material so good more hangers chelsea sunglasses uh love this drink that has got to be from a color reveal set i love i don't know why i love that so much but it might be one of my favorite things today and we have a crab i think might be from a chelsea set and what a great little miniature to have more jazz sunglasses one of these diamond purses which open i think these are so cool with this sticker on my finger from the peeling the label off of the parcel all this time anyway this opens oh yeah look at that and it's a mechanical hinge it's a really cool purse one of my favorite purses um that reminded me I probably have him that I haven't opened. I've been trying to collect the boy color reveal Chelsea's and oh my, he is so cute with the freckles and everything. What's going on? Why am I out? My light's so bright. I love him. I don't know what series he's from. Maybe this will tell me. Um, he, he, wow. Look. They should have made him shirtless, though, unfortunately. They gave him a little... I don't remember. Hopefully there's a little hint in here. Like, there are the papers in here. Oh, and look, there's a... Uh... This has to be his headband. So I think that goes on. Oh, he is so cool. I think that goes on like that. Why? Why does he seem like he's better made? 
I don't know. And then there is... <sighs> what is going on here? I don't know what's happening here. I don't know where this dress is from. <laughs> and it says Queen. And this is the new Chelsea face. So what to the what? And it's articulated. What? Okay, is the dress from somewhere else? I'm I'm really confused. This is so good. She's all 80s. She's got her 80s shoes on. And then I've got another headband. Is what is going on? Another headband. We got one of the sponges from the reveal. Maybe I can check in here. Oh, here is the the two killer whale. Is that what they're called? And then and then here is where he is from. So yes, I was right about the headband. And I hope this is one that I don't already have. So then it's like completing my I can't. I can't, I can't handle it. I don't know where this queen belt is from. It's, this looks like not something I've ever seen Chelsea wear, but the hair is matching. <laughs> uh, Evelyn, you've styled her. If, if this, this might be your own style. You've styled her very, very coolly. She's the coolest Chelsea I've ever seen. Okay, doubles. She gave me doubles. Doubles aren't good. I don't have this one. And I love it. I guess I missed a lot of um, I missed a lot of Matchbox from last year, and I love Matchbox. I like it more than Hot Wheels. It's a GP. It's a GP Jeep. Love it. It's a Land Rover. A double of this. Now this is one that I wanted that I never got. So I guess she's watching my videos and she knows which ones I don't have. I um I don't know. I was maybe trying to boycott Lightyear for some reason. Maybe because I didn't see the movie. And I'm also I try to be good and not get every toy I want. I'm I'm I ha I'm happy that I, I got that now. Oh and of course I got two of them. And two of these. And two of these. Evelyn. Overkill. Don't send me stuff, guys. So great. Fun. It was a fun video. It was a long video of opening toys, presents. Oh, guess what? Um, I didn't even think of this. I don't know when this video is going up. Um, but this is my birthday month. <laughs> so there we go. So perfect. This was... Um, this, is, this is my first birthday present. How did I not even think of that? Did you know? Evelyn knew, that's why. All right, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to read the letter now, and then I'll see if anything is explained. We'll see you next time. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you again to Val. I actually, you sent me a card before, and... I remember because you have such a great taste in art. We have the same taste. Okay, the letter was very sweet. Nothing to be, n nothing scary in it. She also had a good message that I can donate, um, but don't throw out the stuff, which, yeah, you should never throw stuff in the trash. Always donate so somebody else can appreciate it and we don't need any more plastic in our landfills. <sighs> Look at this Chelsea. So, wait, I don't remember showing this camera. This oversized camera. Maybe it has some kind of... Oh! <laughs> what? It, I saw that it had a pull-out tab slot. I don't know what to play with first. I gotta... I gotta, uh, I gotta check out these fashions. Yeah, there's, there, there's a, a, there's a lot of good stuff here. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you.
<sighs> okay. I'm, I'm cleaning up my mess I made. Barbie extra minis? Is that what this is? That's what's going on here? <laughs> that's why. And then there's this bag. And I was just, I was talking about the earrings. These are all the earrings that can be used for my Wild Hearts crew. There's a bag of all of the color reveal earrings, which is one of the main reasons I like to collect them. And I can use them on Wild Hearts crew and a tiny little necklace. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How did these things escape me? Too much stuff. Yeah, I wonder how much these sunglasses, are they? They might be Barbie extra minis too.